Konnichiwa, arigato for watching. <laughs> huh? Fluent. <laughs> Fluent. Uh. Uh, Tetsuo, Kaneda, Tetsuo. welcome to Aki Marathon. Tetsuo, Kaneda. P people have no idea what we're on about. Tetsuo, Tetsuo, Kaneda. Tetsuo, Kaneda. 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 Tetsuo, Kaneda. Tetsuo. And Kaneda. It's happening again. We're going on another tour, which again, you guys should come with us. This time we're going to Japan. No place, correct me if I'm wrong, no place in the world has a greater sort of density of epic architecture. You're wrong. What? I just thought I'd say it. Oh, being a bastard. <laughs> is this the itinerary for huh? the tour? This is the itinerary for the tour? Just this... a bit of light reading? Everybody's going to carry one of these? Yeah, yeah. This is heavier than a bag. Have you felt how heavy these books are? It hurts my back. Yep, I think that's heavier than your bag. That's everything I've had for four weeks of travel. That's carry on. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, look at that. Yeah. Whoa. That's what you hear on tour. Just us two going. <laughs> you are obsessed with Japan. I think a lot of people are. Huh? Why, why do you like Japan so much? I have always said, whenever asked, that I like Japanese architecture and Finnish architecture. I like the scale. I like the fact that many Japanese buildings are forced to deal with smallness, difficult, tight sites that seem impossible. And out of that, there is this incredible invention that's partly because of those site constraints, but also because of the unique culture of Japan. And then there's things like metabolism. You know, great sort of philosophically important landmark periods of, of architectures. And the other thing, having been there many times, I just love the density of it. More density. You can just walk down one street and see a whole bunch of buildings. You don't have to go for like half a day to get to one landmark building. I think for me, I've barely been to Japan. Yeah. I've studied Japanese, I've studied Japanese architecture, I've taught Japanese architecture. But to me, this recent recce that I went on, to see some of these buildings, like Ando, Ando's buildings, like I've studied and taught it. I know them so well. Yeah. Um, to see them in real life, I was, I wouldn't say disappointed, but certainly it was, it was not Ando hater. Hashtag Kev hates Ando. I hate Ando, I hate Alto. Keep going. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think, I think what was interesting is it's not so much putting up these star architects up there and, and seeing the work. I think they were interesting of its time, Yeah. but it was definitely worth visiting. But I think what makes Japan interesting is not so much individual projects just going to blow you away. It's actually more the context for which it exists. This really futuristic, yet also strangely, almost sometimes feudal mm. sort of culture and how these projects exist in it and in this kind of society and the rituals and everything. So that, that's, to me, that's probably more exciting than individual projects themselves. And just seeing, even just the everyday way they do things is unique. And I think that's, that's to me, that's the value of Japan. Yeah. And uh, look, I agree. And again, having been there many times, like you get to see and explore that again and again each time. It's always like a culture shock and there's always more to see and pick apart. And so anybody that decides to come with us, like it doesn't matter if like, you're a first timer to Japan, that would be great because we're going to do a pretty serious overview as, our, as we always do on our tours. Mm -hmm. Go fast and hit lots of places and give you the opportunity to go and back again. But also, it's a great opportunity for people that have been to Japan many times or to only one part. If you've only been to Tokyo or, or uh, Kyoto and they haven't got further afield than that, it, you know, it's a great reason to come along. Hmm. and become part of the conversation because that's that's the most important thing of the tours yeah that's a big part of the tour is everybody having their say and uh, sharing their opinion so you know how you're complaining about the heat in spain yep yeah yep. this time it's going to be winter oh good it's the coldest month is it yeah and i think japan is one of those countries much like finland where well finland finnish summer is not that hot but japan gets like super hot 
stinky hot when we were in June. Mm. And it gets amazing autumns and springs, you know, the sakura and the flowers and colors. And then you got winter as well. I think it's important to go in winter because if you look at Japanese houses and traditional architecture, they're like lightweight, tropical like buildings. Mm. So how do people keep warm? Just like when we look at Spain, how do they keep cool? Yeah. From a European kind of heavy building tradition. So yeah, a lot of the food and culture. Japan's awesome because it is one of those places where there is no wrong time of year to mm. go. Obviously summer in areas can get pretty hot, but still um, there is a cultural adaptation to all of that complexity. Uh, but winter is, yeah, that's really fun to go in. A lot of warming food. And for those who like to go skiing, they've got some pretty good snow. Mm. Are we going skiing? No, insurance oh. won't cover that. Insurance won't cover that. We should do a little... Skirmish. Skirmish. <laughs> it's kind of like, so there's recce and skirmish. We're apparently going to war. <laughs> and we're enlisting troops. Aren't they? What? When you go to a house in Japan, you take your shoes off, Kevin. Because otherwise it's gross and disgusting. Hashtag Kev is gross and disgusting. Huh. Make sure they have no holes. I came... <laughs> It's a lucky day. It's like the only pair that I've got that don't have holes in it. Usually my toes sticking out of it. Tokyo. Mm -hmm. So much to see. What, we'll have like three or four days there? You oh, think at least, yeah. At yeah. least three or four days there. There's so much to see in Tokyo on these different enclaves and areas. And just a little bit outskirts as well. Yeah. And of course, we're going to be on Shinkansen super fast trains. Going to the Kansai area, the Osaka area. Yeah. Which is like T Tadao Ando land. So much fun. Kyoto, of course. We're going to stop in there. It's on the way to Osaka. We'll probably stay in Kyoto, aren't we? We, we do both, yeah. Osaka yeah. and Kyoto. As always, I haven't paid attention. And how far south will we end up? Well, we'll see. We might go as far south as Awaji Island. We'll see. Which is in the Kansai area. Yeah. Which is where you've got the super small Tadando project, or the temple, and then you've got this super large project. Yeah. That Yumei Butai project. Yeah. Yeah, which, which I haven't been what, there for yeah, which is so long. Weird, but it's interesting to see this contrast. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And it's quite agricultural, like the rice farms and things around. So, I mean, Japan, you get that. You get outside the city a little bit and suddenly like you're rural, pretty cool. Yeah, well, a lot of people expect it to be like Tokyo, but Tokyo is to Japan, it's probably fair to say, is like New York is to America. You can't judge America on New York and vice versa. <laughs> Like they're these mega cities. USA apparently, we, we get in trouble saying America by our South American. Mm. Well said. Mm. Yeah. Although you said America, that's America. okay. America. Yeah, it's how it's spelled. America, <laughs> yeah. Australia, America. As always, we're only taking a, a, a small group of people and we would like that to be a group that is diverse, you know, some senior professionals, graduates, students, and everything in between. Because of the time of year that we're going as well, one thing to think about is if you've got that special architect friend in your life and you're like, what will I get this person for Christmas? You should get him a trip with us to Japan. Or hey, or you know, your child has been working away at university, slaving this semester, um, studying and has done really well. You should reward them with a Christmas present of an architecture tour to Japan. Hmm. Don't you reckon? Yeah. Well, that would be a great present. Uh, of course it would be a great present. You get to hang out with us. <laughs> it's the greatest <laughs> present of all. Uh, <laughs> what's, um, what's this? What's what? What's in that cup? I thought you pranked me and put some... <laughs> <laughs> no, concern, I'm worried about you, man. Because I'm pretty sure that's water. Yeah. And usually you just drink grog all the time and it makes me think what's he going through i don't drink grog all the time what are it's you like about? the healthy option what are you doing this is straight up vodka <laughs> yeah <laughs> food and drinks Oof. yeah for relaxing times, make it Suntory time. Cut, 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 cut.
I would go to Japan just for the food. Oh, so many people do. And again, that's an important part of the Archie Marathon tour is not just the ar architecture, it's the conversations, it's the in-between times, it's checking out the culture and checking out the food. It wouldn't be a Kevin tour without us going and trying a whole bunch of yummy stuff. You should come along, get in quick, limited numbers. Limited time? Now? It's January. Yeah, we were meant to do this video a while ago, sorry. <laughs> There's still spaces. We're already kind of half full. Oh, are we? No, yeah. Oh, okay. A link below to the tour. Send Kev an email. Get in touch. Let's do this, peeps. It's going to be fun. Love you guys. See you in the next one. Sayonara. 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 Is my pronunciation right? Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Cut off. Cut off. Cut off. Cut off.